Let's look at this question. It says, a particle accelerates uniformly from rest at 6.0 meter per second square for 8 seconds. As you can see, this is acceleration in meter per second square. If you want to solve a question like this correctly, as you are ready, plot the graph. That is velocity time graph. This is the velocity line. This is the time line. This position you are seeing here is zero. Why am I starting with zero or starting from zero? Because I saw from rest, from rest, rest is zero. It accelerate uniformly. Uniform acceleration means it was going like this. That is, as this velocity is increasing, time was increasing. This is velocity. Change in displacement with time was increasing. Time was increasing. That is, as it's going here, this is increasing, increasing, increasing. That is, if you plot the graph, you have something like this. From rest. Okay? Therefore, you can plot it like this. Say this is V, this is T. What I will do, I will simply write this on the graph. Not here, not here, because this is velocity line, this is time line, this is the acceleration line. That is 6.0 meter per second square. Okay? After that, then decelerate uniformly to rest in 5 seconds. So, from here to here, it was 8 seconds. Here now, decelerate, going down. The velocity is now reducing while the time is still moving. Your clock never stop, clock never stop. Decelerate, that is, is slowing down. The velocity that was here, high speed, the speed is now reducing. It's reduced. As it's reducing, time is reducing. So we plot the graph, we have something like this. So here, five seconds. Let's redraw it, say somewhere here, five seconds. So this is the acceleration side. This is the deceleration side. Because there was no constant velocity. So we can't do something like this. Because nothing was constant. Up, down. You have this picture in your mind. You must not draw it out. Determine the magnitude of the deceleration. So you can see, this value was given to us to write on this graph. Nothing was given to us here. What was only given to us to was the time. The distance was not even given. How do you solve this? Very simple. Let me show you. Acceleration or deceleration is always A equals to the final velocity minus the initial velocity all over time. The velocity at which you started from the velocity at which you stopped. So, this guy stopped here, but started from zero. This is one leg for acceleration. We are going to consider it separately. Then we go for the second leg, deceleration. We consider it separately as far as this is concerned. So, what we need to do now, we are going to solve for what? We are going to solve for final velocity. So, we are going to do over 1, cross multiply, this multiply by this is 80, this multiply by this remains this. Then you move this to this side to have 80 plus u equals to v. You can rewrite this as v equals to u plus 80. This is our final velocity. Why am I interested in the final velocity? Because whenever you are solving anything acceleration, you must know the initial and the final. Anything acceleration and deceleration, you must know the starting point and the ending point as far as the velocity is concerned. Okay? Now, for this leg, 
We know that it started from rest. So we can say that the beginning was zero. But the final was not given to us. Why do you need the final? I need the final because when I want to consider this other side, which is deceleration, deceleration also needs the starting point. Where did it start? Decelerity. I don't even know. Why? Because if you look at this place now, there is no value for velocity. Look at this question. Is there any value for velocity? No value for velocity. But here I know, starting from rest, I know the starting point as far as acceleration is concerned. But I don't know the end. It is the end of the acceleration that will be the beginning of the deceleration. You understand? If, for instance, this was 6, this is the final velocity for the acceleration. And it's also the initial velocity for the deceleration because as at this point, this is where acceleration stopped. This 6. Assume it is 6. And it's at this point, it starts decelerating. That is the starting point for deceleration. It says, what are we looking at? As far as deceleration is concerned, this will be the U. Initial velocity. Why this for acceleration is zero. But this end point for acceleration, this is the final for acceleration. What it is the initial for deceleration. Now, as far as this question is concerned, what you are looking for here is A for this side. We know A for this side, but we don't know A for this side. I can decide not to even do all this calculation. I say all I want to apply is simply acceleration is equal to V minus U over T. I'm looking for A for this other side, right? Next question is this. We don't know A for this last one. We know 5, right? We don't know the initial. Initial velocity, where it started from. Remember, I put this one for illustration purpose. We don't even know where this starts from. Before it starts decelerating, the beginning, we don't know. This is the beginning of the deceleration. It's not given to us. How can we get it? We can get it if we can get the final of this one, the final. This is the final. So let's go and calculate the final of this acceleration to get this beginning of this guy. So now, if we come back here, you agree with me, apply the same formula, A equals to V minus U over T. A here is 6. T is 8. The final, we don't know. The beginning, we know to be 0. Now, you can have solve for V. You get it? We know the acceleration. We know the initial starting from rest. Rest is 0. We know the time 8. We are looking for V. Okay? Now you can cross multiply to say this multiplied by this is what? 6 times 8 equals to this man of this is simply V. 8 multiplied by 6 is 48. So V is equals to 48 meter per seconds. As you can see, this 48 is what we have here. Remember the 6 I put there before was for illustration purpose. It's 48 we have as the final velocity for this acceleration. That is where it stopped. The maximum, where you were running. You stop at 48. When you get to 48, you start coming down. We are not saying, when did you start coming down? I started coming down from 48 meter per second. That is your initial for the deceleration. So therefore, if I come back to this place now, my initial, remember here, I use it for V. My initial now is 48. Okay? My time is already 5. What of the final velocity? What is the final velocity? I want to ask you. Look at this. The final velocity here, I started from here, going down. What do you think is the final here? The final, if you come back, is 0. Because you were running before. You start coming down. So I'm slowing down, 48, 40, 30, 20, 10, 
to zero. You stop. So here will be zero. Your final here will be zero. Okay? Therefore, we are looking for eight, as you already know. So this is minus 48 over five. This will give you 9.6. That is minus 9.6. 9.6 what? In meter by second square. As you can see, the value is negative. Why is it negative? Because deceleration is negative value. You will decelerate Okay, so is minus 9.6 meter by second square. Hope you get this explanation correctly. Hope you get it.